Guyana's monitoring, reporting and verification system originated from a national vision of a low-carbon economy. This materialized in June 2009 through the Low Carbon Development Strategy, which aimed to transform Guyana's economy while providing a model to combat climate change and delivering greater economic and social development for Guyanese. In November 2009, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the Sovereign State of Norway and Guyana. A joint concept note operationalized the MOU under which Norway committed payments of up to 250 million US dollars to Guyana for avoided deforestation if certain performance indicators were met. The agreement represented the first international commitment of financial support to the LCDS with payments tied to two sets of performance-based indicators, indicators of enabling activities and Red Plus performance indicators. The joint concept note set out the indicators of enabling activities, which comprises of policies and safeguards, whilst the Red Plus performance indicators relate to forest-based greenhouse gas emissions. The MRVS forms part of the Red Plus performance indicators and the three-year roadmap was developed with two main components. Guyana currently records comparatively low deforestation rates ranging between 0.05 and 0.079% per annum between the periods 2010 to 2016. The basis for comparison of the area-based interim measures is the 30th September 2009 benchmark map which was generated using medium resolution satellite images and forest cover was calculated in accordance with Guyana's 1990 national definition of forest for Red Plus. Remotely sent satellite data for spatial tracking of forest change each assessment year is acquired during the last five months of the reporting year. The first year of annual reporting commenced in 2010 and required a number of initial reporting activities. Initial steps allowed for historical assessment of forest cover to be completed, key database integration to be fulfilled, and for interim intermediate indicators of emissions from deforestation and forest degradation to be subsequently reported. This assessment was conducted using nationwide coverage of 30 meter Landsat 7 imagery. In the second year, partial national coverage of 5 meter resolution rapid eye imagery allowed for more refined reporting of changes, supplemented by full coverage of Landsat 7 imagery. In year three, Guyana acquired full national coverage of rapid eye data, which allowed the boundaries and the drivers of change to be mapped with greater certainty. Landsat 7 data was utilized as a supplementary data source. In year 4, a combination of Rapid Eye and Landsat 8 imagery improved the forest change detection process by enabling areas under persistent cloud coverage to be assessed. The same process was implemented in the fifth assessment year, 2014. The most recent assessment year covered a 24-month period from January 2015 to December 2016 and reflected the lowest deforestation rate to date at 0.05%. The forest change assessment for year 6 used a new emerging satellite called Sentinel that provided 10-meter resolution data. Guyana has established a robust MRVS that is able to spatially account for the area of deforestation and degradation with confidence. For every annual reporting period, an independent accuracy assessment has been conducted using geographic aerial photographs taken at 20 to 60 cm resolution. An analysis of the findings of the accuracy assessment conducted by Durham University UK has confirmed that the reported results and methods for every year's report by the GFC is accurate, precise and developed using best practice methods and standards. Additionally, independent third-party verification is conducted on the reported results. Diana's progress on the MRVS has been strongly supported by local partners including Conservation International Guyana 
and international partners, specifically NORAD through the Norwegian government. As the Guyana Forestry Commission breaks new frontiers on the MRVS, it has the potential of informing policy and land use practices on the ground.